So here's some of the new wiring circuits that Kyle had put in so far. Looks like he terminated here with enough wire to make it over to where the circuit box will be. But as, as I had suspected, he did take advantage of this open part of the beam on this side so he could avoid the obstructions on the other side. So as you can see, he's got his cables. Looks like he's got three circuits so far and he's got them stapled in quite nicely. So he runs down the beam over to here, jumps in that joist bay, and comes out here, and he makes his run straight down the beam towards the kitchen. So as you can see, he did want to skip that obstruction right through there. Now if you look right here, here's the extra wire that I pulled off that goes over to the washer, so that wire can get strung into the new washer and dryer location. And let's take a look where he's got these going. So they come down here and they start jumping up around this stuff. And he's keeping it nice and neat when we're along the sill and he's going up into the kitchen. So we'll take a look where those come through. Wednesday afternoon, I'm back on my way to work. I'm gonna give you an update. Kyle came by a second time to get some more of the rough in finished. He spent three, four hours on it and then got called away on another service call. Well, Kyle was busy doing his thing. Steve was putting up together the rest of the wall for the alcove. He was getting that squared away. He's also putting some blocking in so that the outlet for the washer and dryer lands in the right space at the right height and with the right depth and all that so he's taking care of that while Steve was doing that I was uh, in the floor space underneath the alcove Steve pulled up some of the flooring which is just a half inch piece of plywood he got that up and out of the way I was able to drop into the crawl space and take a look underneath there and see what I needed to do to start hooking up the drain for the washer the old drain pipe was still up hanging in the rafters that was a one and a half inch diameter abs plastic pipe which as i recall was insufficient to drain a washer as a youngster i remember my mom used that washer for the first time and it just puked water all over the floor because the volume of water coming out of the washer was vastly too much than what a one and a half inch pipe could handle. So the pipe backed up and it just spilled all over the floor. So my dad got a utility sink, put it next to the washer so the washer could drain into the utility sink and then it could drain down slowly through that drain in the bottom of that. So 
I needed to upgrade to a proper two inch diameter PVC pipe. And I got that hung in the, jet, the joist uh, bay. Put some hangers on it to secure it. Got the correct pitch in the pipe so that it's gonna drain properly and that's a done deal.